Good morning. Good morning, good morning. It is, oh my gosh, it's almost 11 o'clock. Wow. <laughs> it is um, getting away from me this morning, but I thought I would show you guys my progress. Yesterday, um, we worked uh, on these, uh, getting the, the walls painted. Um, I worked up here and got all the walls painted. The girls were downstairs getting the cabinets going. So the walls are now called a color called pure white. And there's not a lot of wall space in here. And then um, the cabinets are also pure white. Um, let me see if you can see. The cabinets are a semi-gloss pure white. Um, there, right there, you kind of pick up on the reflection and then the wall is just a, a um, an eggshell finish. So, um, good morning, you guys. Hey, thanks for jumping on. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Connie. Yay, I see you, I see you. So, we're coming along nicely. Um, I'm, I've got all of my drawers are in. I'm finished up here. Um, and so now I'm going down to start. Um, the cabinet doors I'm taking over <laughs> from where the girls left off. Good morning, Sherry. Thank you, Terry. Um, yeah, I'm really happy. One thing I forgot to tell you guys, one of the most important things you can do is to number your um, cabinets. Uh, so like I have, you know, number two here, number three, four, five. So when it's time to put these back on, um, there's seven. Uh, when it's time to put them back on, it's it, your hinges are all put on manually, um, typically. So it, your cabinet could be a little wonky if you don't put the same cabinet door on uh, the same opening. So anyway, this is where I am. That's one thing I wanted to show you. So I put like the number 10 on number 10 and then inside the hinge holes, I'll show you. I'm gonna try and take you downstairs and show you all of the cabinets laid out. But I'm super happy, and remember I was worried when you stood far away, so let me stand here in my, um, if I stand in my living room, I don't think it looks too, like I thought it would be kind of screaming white, and actually it is up in here. It's not like that's so bad in real life. Um, I don't know why the reflection's doing that on the, on the camera, but it, that's what I don't want. <laughs> But it's doing it here. Let's see if I tap the screen. Does it calm it down? No, it doesn't. So, um, but anyway, I'm super happy with the white. Um, yes, fresh and clean. I think so too. I think so too. So let me um, let me shut out this light. I'm ready to go downstairs, and I'm gonna sh uh, sign off um, downstairs. But what? And and another thing I've been trying to do. It's hard to do. Is to keep things open so that it can cure. Um, I'm not going to be able to do that for 30 days. That's a lot, but um, at least for a few days to let it kind of um, kind of tack up, you know what I mean? So I'm going to bring you downstairs if I can, you guys. I'm not sure. Um, sometimes I have service down here and sometimes I don't. So let's just see um, if I can show you. So yeah, I have I have cabinet doors. I have cabinet doors on the table here. Uh, I have them on the floor. <laughs> um, I have more tables here. I have tables here going all the way here. And then if you go back in here, all the way around, I have more tables, more tables. <laughs> so I have cabinets, I told you, I have cabinets everywhere and I legit, seriously, honestly do. So. Um, what I thought I would show you guys, I, I did get a few questions privately and I tried to answer everything. Um, and I think I've covered most everything on the videos, but the one thing I did not cover was the caulking and how to do it. Um, I had a couple people ask about that. And so I thought I would show you. So I've, it's already done upstairs, um, what I did, but you can see there's, there's just a slight, um, gap see that dark line and then let me show you so oh, it's hard to see here 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 on this one is there see you can see where it's gapped and then where it isn't it looks so much better so we always instead of I would have normally caulked like this entire cabinet but it only needs caulked in this corner 
and in this corner. So we always paint it out with a coat of primer and a coat of paint um, before we do, you know, another coat. So I'm just using regular white caulking and the secret, the one secret that I can, can you show the Oreos? Oh, is that what it says? on? Oh, the oars. Oh, yeah, the boat, the boat oars. Okay, sure. <laughs> sure, sure. Hey, good morning, Damon. So you're going to, um, um, you're going to put the, so, okay, let me get back to where I was. You threw me with the Oreos. <laughs> I'll show you in just a second. So this is Cheryl Williams white caulking. And, um, it's the main thing that I look for in my caulking is that it says paintable. And so right there is the word paintable. That's what you want. Have you ever done a, a, a bathroom or something where someone has caulked it and the, the caulking doesn't take the paint and you got to tear it all out? So that's so you don't want that. So anyway, I'm just triggering. I'm just pulling the trigger right here. I'm just squeezing. Whoops, see there where I stopped? Okay. You just, you just, do, a, you just do yourself a line like that. And then you take your finger and you just, you're really scraping it off, okay? So since I have that big puddle, and then I just, I just put it on my rag, okay? <laughs> since I'm holding my phone, this is kind of not probably the most professional video ever, but we got work to do. This is more about me getting my work done than doing a video, right? Um, but I wanted to share with those couple of girls, I told them I would show them today when I got downstairs to work on the cabinet doors because I knew there would be lots of caulking and you guys that's all there is to caulking and then anything that's up over the edges or anything like that the paint will cover that but you can go a step further you can take your rag and wipe it off um, because all you want it is down in that groove really but anything that's gone up out of the groove is fine because you got paintable caulking Okay, it's that simple, you guys. People are so afraid of the caulking. And I have seen contractors do the worst caulking jobs and there's no reason for it. There is absolutely no reason for it. So like there's a little bit here in this corner, right here, see that black dot? So I just put some on my finger and I'm just gonna press it in there and smooth it out. And you guys, when I paint this, it will be all good. But there you go, that's how you do it. So this still needs two coats of paint. Obviously you can see um, through it. When you say you can see through it, you can see the, almost looks like a sponge. Um, so yeah, they need painted, but I'm gonna work on the caulking so that as I go around the room and get all the caulking done, then I can start again and it'll just be two coats of paint. I'll have these babies done today. The backside is done um, on all of them. I never caulk the back, um, see? And I never, I don't caulk the insides. I don't really care about that. And I never have. I've never had a client complain about that. We've just, we just don't put the time in to do that. Um, I just don't think it's really necessary. So, okay. So you guys want to see the oars. Someone wanted to see the oars, the Oreos. <laughs> Here they are. So what I, I can't, let's see, I can't get a good way to show you. So they're just really old boat oars. My basement is very, um, what paint am I using? Um, hang on a minute. Right here. It's, you guys are in the worst part of my <laughs> Pro Classic Semi Gloss from Sherwin Williams. It's the best. You need to prime first. You need to clean with TSP. I did a video yesterday. So, uh, Phoebe, you can catch that. Um, and it'll tell you everything. Um, this was just kind of a catch you guys up and let you see. So, here are the oars. I have three of them. They're different sizes. They're different finishes. Like this one's really uh, chippy and it's painted where this one is just the, um, just the wood. And you can see where it's been in the water because this, all of this is varnished and then all of this is not. So it's been really damaged. And then I found this little one, which I thought was super cute. And then I get so breathless. <laughs> and then I love collecting old wooden bobbers. They're very hard to find. This one's my probably my absolute favorite one of all, if you can see. Um, I love this one. And oh, Damon was on here a little bit ago, and he's like the best 
flower guy, so he please don't look at that. <laughs> um, but then here are some old oarlocks, or I don't know what they call them, but they're they um, clamp onto the boat and they hold your oars. And so, and they even had like the old rope and everything. So I hung that off of one of those. Let me see here. This it's very nautical, but yet when you look at it, it does. It's not like lighthouses and stuff like that. It's like, um, you know, bathing beauties and gauges and stuff like that. Um, I have, I do have a sailboat. I have two sailboats and I have one I'm working on upstairs, um, with more of the nautical ladies. You guys, I've shown you the postcards that I have quite a few of them. The advertising cards are on my website. Um, hi, Margaret. Yes, it's been a while. I pop in and out from time to time, um, but it's nice to see you too. Okay, and then like this is my big fish. I know this is like nuts. You, I'm probably gonna lose followers over this, but I don't know why. I absolutely loved him. I loved him, and I think he was $125, and I got him down to 85 and I love him. He is carved, like the scales are carved on him. Um, can you, there, there you can kind of see in the reflection from the ring light. And then this was just an old boat that I bought my husband. I love all of this nautical stuff. And then you get into like the things that I found on the beach at Kelly's Island is all of the sea glass, or well, this is actually pottery. And then I call these pork chops. <laughs> and then there's sea glass here in this tray. I have a whole, this whole thing is full of Kelly's Island sea glass right there. <laughs> I love that I can get you guys down here today. This is just pretty awesome. And then we have like a bowl of shark's teeth from the ocean that I found. Um, of course, my husband's glasses and his toothpick is... <laughs> <laughs> sitting by the chair you know that's always nice <laughs> nice to have in a video and then we go to the fact that I paint houses and kitchen cabinets for people so I do like looking for paint paint things as well and I feel like since I kept the nautical not like red white and blue you know kept it more neutral um I'm able to put like the old putty knives and the Benjamin or the um Dutch boy paint stuff there's a old bank bag that I found with our last name on it. I thought that was pretty cool. There's an old wooden trouble light. I know you guys can't see very well, but I just don't have light down here. Why would you lose followers over the fish? <laughs> well, because some people probably think, why would you have a great big fish in your house? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. You never know. Um, and then these are all old boat license plates. Um, they're just really small. I love this one that's got, still has the metal tags. And then this isn't a, actually a boat license plate, but this was during the war when they were, uh, keeping metal, um, ration, like only giving so much. So you would put this over top of your old license plate and the screw holes fit. Um, so I thought that was a pretty cool story. And then this one's just from another country, which I thought was cool. This was one of the first ones I bought. That's not a boating one. I just like the colors. Um, and then this one, the same thing with that one. And then all of the rest of them are for boats. But I had this tiny little ledge and it was like, what do you do with that? So I started putting my license plates up there and I thought it was kind of cool, right? So then I have uh, my paint sign my husband got me for Christmas um, a couple years ago, I think. And I've been, I've been hanging all of my old, uh, my old, paintbrushes off of. And then here, here, it just caught my eye. I have another one of those boat or things just propped in a dish with some old um, buoy, you know, these are old floats, net floats. And um, my, my old duck, I love him. <laughs> and some handmade dominoes there. Let's see if I, does this light help at all? Maybe a little bit. There's some old dominoes. Um, let's see. Oh, and then here. This is another little nautical area with some bathing beauties. And then I have like a fishing reels with fishing licenses from Ohio because we live in Ohio. And then some of the old bobbers. I don't think this one's old. It was one of the first ones I kind of got me started on wanting to look for bobbers. Um, oops, I can see the price tag. I don't like that. I always put how much I have in them because a lot of times I turn around and sell my things. Um, so I always like to, you know, get out of it what I got in it anyway. And then what do I have? Oh, and then over here, because we do a lot of painting, this is where I put, I started collecting uh, measurement, measuring tools, different, different measures. 
and um, I didn't really know what to do with them. They were all just kind of piled up. So, <laughs> so I filled up my wall. Oh, there's another set of oars <laughs> on the bar uh, or by the bar. Um, but yeah, I just started putting um, it on the wall and it just sort of worked. It's very busy. I know. I, I get it. Um, but I just don't know what else to do with it. And then this is a ladder table. Um, it's it's made of an old ladder. Uh, and <laughs> this, this is curtains that are going to be in a sale one of these days from, left from my shop. And then the boxes from shipping. Uh, this is where I keep the boxes that I ship all of your guys' stuff from my website. But I've been using the boxes. So I'm going to have to throw a bunch of them away because I've got paint on them. <laughs> so I'm not going to be able to do a sale until I can get more boxes. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And then back over here, let's see. Oh, a fun thing to look for are these pine cones. They're actually cuckoo clock weights. Those will be great for the fall. I just have four, but, um, you know, they're fun to find. They're usually around $5 is what I'm okay to pay. Sometimes you'll see them for more. But And then the knives were my great-grandfather's. He had a sharpening, a blade sharpening business. And so, um, yeah, we I, I got some of his blades for my grandma. Or, and then my mom, of course. And then, uh, you don't mind the pain on the boxes? Well, I thought about that too, if I'm desperate for boxes. Uh, and then this is, um, they're, they're little compasses. And it kind of went with the nautical theme. But you see what I, it's kind of an interesting nautical and not a cheesy nautical, <laughs> I guess. And then anytime I see a little old boat, I grab it. And I don't really know what to do with them yet. They're just kind of piled up here. But, oh, and here's my sanding blocks I couldn't find. Yay. Um, but eventually, um, I'm sure I'll come up with something, maybe little shelves or something. I don't know. I haven't come up with it yet. And usually I'm good at that. So, uh, it just hasn't hit me yet what to do with the boats, but I'll do something fun for sure. And that's it. So yay. I don't get you guys down here very often, um, to see the basement. So yay. And we're, we were going to put in a heat source, um, and so I have an old scale that hangs there and I just don't have it back up yet, but it's super cool. I hate you guys seeing everything in such disarray, but it is what it is. But here's my old, um, my old scale. Maybe I can try and hang it with you guys here. I don't know. Gee, you just never know where my um, videos are going to go, do you? I was going to show you how to paint a cabinet, and then here we are hanging an old scale. So there's that part of the old scale. And then if I can get, there we go. And then, let's see, can I get the S hook? Mm, hang on a minute. I'm holding my phone, so it's really rough on you guys. I know that. Uh, there. Okay, so then I just hang. Is it going to go? Oh, it'll go, but it's tight. I need two hands. <laughs> oh, I need two hands. I don't think I can do it with one hand here. There, I did it. There, I did it. Okay, and my chain is caught, but that's okay. And then I have a couple of books, and I have an old an old metal boat and I don't usually buy the metal ones. I don't know why. Um, I think I just like the wood, but there's a metal boat and then some books. And then I have something greenery that goes on there, but I don't know where it is right this minute. Um, that's been on the floor for months. So yeah, glad to have that up. I got to fix my chain, but there you go. So that's always a fun thing to look for too. When you're out antique shopping, um, what else do I have down here that you might want to see? I got my ring light on so you guys could see. I don't have good light down here, you can tell. Um, a ladder. I love this old table. Here's some more bobbers. You see, I've been collecting bobbers for quite a while, and they are very hard to find. Um, <clears throat> I showed you the dominoes. There's my bone and wood uh, dice. And gosh, I think that's kind of about it. This was my father-in-law's measure. And this was my father-in-law's measure. So I thought those were kind of cool. And you know, I love decorating the bottles and I saw this bottle, I thought it was really cool. So I did that one. So anyway, there you go. Let me, let me take a look here at your comments. Good morning. <laughs> let me see what, I, what you guys are saying here. I, I tried to keep up with them, I think. Um, let's see here. Good morning. Uh, Oh, there's Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Um, I'm going to go back to the... I want to find a comment that was familiar. 
There, how about to Margaret? I think I've read them all up to Margaret. Um, and Andrea, oh, you love my downs. Thank you. I never bring you guys down here. Um, oh yeah, there's Sue about losing followers. I don't know. Just people like to follow people that are relatable. <laughs> so, but I guess I'm one of those, maybe, um, let's call me a, uh, an, an inspir, an inspire, an inspirable, inspirational girl. <laughs> what do you call me? I don't know what to call me. Someone that inspires you. Maybe. How about that? Maybe I'll inspire you to find a fish for your house. <laughs> the word is. Hi, Sarah. Oh, let's see. Love the fish. Awesome, Debbie. Thank you. I love that fish too. You know what? I saw that fish and I grabbed it. I grabbed it so fast. I think my friend Julie was looking at it. I know Sherry was seeing it. We were all looking at it and I picked it up. I'm like, I have to have this fish. <laughs> and then when I saw how much it was, I'm like, well, maybe I don't have to have the fish. But I'd seen, luckily, I had been at Kelly's Island. They had a really cool fish. It would have been painted. It was an old sign, but it was a big old fish. And it was like $350. And my husband was like, absolutely not. You're not, he was with me. You're not getting it. And of course, I couldn't, I couldn't swallow that either. That's a lot for a fish. So I didn't get it. And then the very next fish I see is this one. And like I said, I got him down to 85. I had to get it. And I even told my husband how I should pay for it, which never happens. But, well, sometimes. But yeah, I had to tell him that because I knew I did good. <laughs> so, um love all the collections. Thank you so much. Yes, Patricia, I do have a lot of collections. Thank you, Sue. I know that I have, I have a lot of stuff and it's starting to bother me that I have so much stuff again. Um, thank you, Helen. So I definitely got to be pulling and editing some things. And I thought maybe I should ask you guys, like maybe we could do it together and you guys could help me. Um, because I don't, I'm down to the point, I've been collecting for so many years, I'm down to the point where I love everything that I have. Um, Pain on the boxes gives it a character. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I saw yours too. Yeah, I might have to keep those. I, I probably won't pitch them, but if I can, you know, pick up more here and there, I probably would not pick a painted box over another. And if I do, maybe I'll put a note in there that, <laughs> maybe I'll put a note in there that I um, have paint on this box because it was a prop for my cabinets. Uh, what color did you use on the cabinet doors? Sue, my favorite new color is called pure white. I'm doing everything in pure white. Um, I love colonial white and I love Dover white. So those are my choices if you want. And actually it probably is pure white is the whitest. And then Dover white would be the next creamy. And then colonial white would be the next creamy before you start getting into color color. Okay, so that's, so yeah, jot those down. Uh, let me see, you have a collection. Um, you do have a collection of oars? Oh, Barbara, I love that. I, I think they're so cool. Um, I always notice them every time I see one. I'm like, oh, there's another one. But like I've got, I have five, so that's probably enough. <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't even live on the water. It's just a dream someday I want to. So um, it's your first time. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to meet you, Diane. Um, this probably is not the best video to see me on, but uh, but it's nice to meet you. Uh, Suzanne, good morning. Uh, just watch to you're my age. I have way too much. Oh, <laughs> Diane. <laughs> well, it's nice to find people that are the same age because everyone on this uh, social media seems so young, wrinkle-free, no double chin, um, you know, all the things. And then here I am, freckly. Uh, yeah, it's a mess. I'm surprised anyone <laughs> But yes, I thought, you know what? I am. I'm a trailblazer, right? I'm, I'm, I'm showing these girls that you can still do it when you're older. Um, you have to watch on the replay. Oh, okay, Sharon. We'll catch you next time. Um, wish I could get rid of half of the crafts I have. You have way too much. We'll do a website. That's what I did. I have lots of people buying things on my website. It's um, Tammy Loves Vintage, in case anyone's curious. It's the same name as my page, um, TammyLovesVintage.com. Um, you love your room. Thank you so much, Sheila. Thank you, guys. I know it takes a minute to actually want to, um, <clears throat> you know, say something. Some people are just good with a high or a wave. I always give you guys a wave. Uh, but, yeah, it takes it takes a little bit for you guys to comment. So I appreciate that a lot. Um, <clears throat> you love my room. Thank you. Thank you, Sheila. And where is Kelly's Island? It's up in the Lake, Lake Erie, um, Sandusky area, northern Ohio. Uh, let's see. 
No, you don't come off. No, you don't come to my stuff way too much. I have so many more years on you. Oh, Diane. Well, I'm happy you found me and I'm happy to be your new friend. Um, you love all my stuff. Thank you, Linda. I've inspired you to look for antiques. Oh, Sue, I, that's, that's what I really want is when I show you guys these things, you know, when you're antiquing, it's, things are just piled in boxes or just not displayed well. And there you have a, I have a vision like how I can see it in my house and Julie, my friend Julie and I are always shopping and say it's going to look so good when we get it home, you know, because it just doesn't look good. And there's been things that I've passed on that she's grabbed. And when I see it in her house, I'm like, dang, I really like that. So then I have to find one. And, and I have had the same thing where I've had a vision on something and then she'll see it. She'll be like, you know, that it's kind of grown on me now that I see it at your house. I think I need one. So it's fun. It, that's fun. You saw your curtain yesterday. Um, oh, well, I, I can show you right now how to do it. If you're still on here, um, Diane, um, Oh, well, thank you. Um, you know, thank you, Sharon. Uh, let's see, you're 70 and much older. Uh, that's only 10 years older than me. I just turned 60, so you don't have that much on me. <laughs> Time flies. So let me show you my curtain really quick. Um, I showed you guys yesterday just in a, uh, just in my hand, and that wasn't a very good way to see it. Hopefully the sun won't be too, um, yeah, the sun will cooperate with us. So all I did... I took an extension rod. Let me see. Let me see if I turn the light on. I am working against the sunshine here. So uh, if I had my phone, there you go. So I have two cabinets. I put an extension rod, uh, no, a tension rod where you tighten it, you know, and it makes it bigger. I put that and then all I did was took muslin shreds here. You can see I didn't get this one done very good. I took muslin shreds which is just muslin that you rip. You guys go back and look through my videos. Go on YouTube to Tammy Loves Vintage and type in muslin and you'll see all kinds of things. Um, but yeah, how to, how to stain them. But I just, I just rip it so that it has the fuzzy edges. See, if you can see. There, see the fuzzy edges? That's from ripping it instead of cutting it. And then um, all I did was find antique, little antique baubles and little, uh, you can't really tell that has the number 45 here is a here's a button holder um here is a drawer pull keys a safety pin here's a lock um here's a little metal wheel just uh, here's a um uh, an old clock um just all the things just there's a little pulley so, oh my gosh, my windows are really dirty. Um, <clears throat> and there's my foxglove. Look at that thing. It's like coming up to the window to see me. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> so, um, and if you need a source for some of these little things, go to my website because I do have um, some, some um, little things on my website for you. And that would help you... Um, that would help you find little tie-ons, or if you need more, just message me. I'll see what I can do for you. Um, I also have boxes of with a little bit of muslin shreds in them, um, some handmade lace, and all sorts of antique -y things. If you guys don't have antiques, um, I've got lots of boxes ready ready to go. Um, they're $85, free shipping. Still haven't gotten your muslin shred balance done, but you but have your box of treasures I bought from you to do it on a rainy day. Oh, I love that, Debbie. Um, I love this look. I will have to try it since you collect old keys. Perfect. Did you see my key, uh, <clears throat> my key lampshade, Martha? Or no, Martin. I'm sorry. Martin. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Let me show if I don't know if if uh, Martin is still on here, but let me take you back down and show you real quick my key lampshade because if you collect old keys, I love I do stuff with old keys all the time, but this is kind of cool and very different. Um, let me turn the light off so you can see it. There you go. So I found just. Um, a lampshade and I covered it you see 
and then I just did the same exact thing. I, I mean, there, there is the inside, like that, all I did was tie muslin shreds and I let the shaggy shreds hang and then I put it on this lamp. Now, if this is a granite, it's just a big hunk of granite and it was a lamp that I had in my shop and the shade was white on it and I wasn't crazy for that, but I really loved the granite lamp, so that's what I did with it. Yes, I could do a nicer finial, like an antique one. I always like to change out my finials, but this lamp was kind of expensive. <laughs> so I left the finial with it, but now that I'm looking at it with you guys, I'm like, hey, I need to, I need to put something old and funky on there. But, oh, well. Oh, well, thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> so I'm going to go get to work. My favorite thing, not, is doing the caulking. I don't mind it. It just gets, it dulls your fingernail polish, and I don't know. I just don't like, I don't know. It's easy. It's not that. It's just, it's gummy, and it's not a fun thing to work with. But it's easy. So if you need it done, do it. Caulking. Caulking makes all the difference. I've had people call me to paint their trim, and I, and I say, you know what? If you just let me caulk. You don't even need painted, and it's such a difference. So anyway, there you go. We've had fun, right? <laughs> Have a great day. I see a couple people just jumping on. I'm so sorry I'm going to say goodbye, um, but I've been on for quite a while, and I need to get to work. So if you don't mind, maybe you can catch the replay. Um, well, you're very welcome. It's, it's nice to see you guys here, and I'm glad I inspired you. You guys have a good day. Bye.